All right, guys, in this video, we are going to program an app called Get the Gold. We are going to be working with this pirate ship here, and the aim is to move around the screen and collect all the gold coins. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our screen. You need to uh, make sure the name of your app is Get the Gold and the screen title is also get the gold all right um, once you have your screen set up you are going to come over to your drawing and animation we will add a canvas and on that canvas we are going to make both the height and the width of the canvas 300 pixels And then on that canvas, we're going to add a number of image sprites. So the first image sprite that you're going to pull in is going to be for our pirate ship. We are going to upload a picture for the pirate ship. Uh, you can find this picture in the text-based tutorial that's located on our webpage under this home screen. Um, or you can uh, get this off the App Inventor tutorials for the Get the Gold app. We are following this tutorial as we go here. All right, we are changing the pirate ship speed to six. All right, all of the other properties we will leave as is for now. Uh, we're going to pull in five other image sprites for the gold coins. Um, you can see with these image sprites here, I've just left them where the pirate sprite I have renamed. So if we come down, there's a rename button and I can rename the pirate sprite. For each of these image sprites, the only thing I've done is I've uploaded the gold coin picture. When you have that done, we are going to add a button. So we're going to bring a button down here. I'll flip over to that. Um, we are going to change the text to reset. All right, we can also, if we want to, we can rename this reset button. And we also have a clock. The clock comes from our sensors. So we're going to pull the clock in and you'll see that we can't see the clock on the screen. It shows up down here in the non-visible components. And we are going to set the timer interval to 2000. All right, so um, Pause the video, rewind where you need to, make sure you get all of the set up, and then we will move on to the next stage. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do um, is we are going to move over to the blocks and we will start programming this. So we're going to start with the pirate ship and we're going to move it around. We would like it to be able to move around, have the user fling it in the direction that they want it to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this when pirate sprite dot flung. All right, and we're going to go back to the pirate sprite. We're going to set its heading. So we're going to come down to the green blocks down here and we're going to set the pirate sprite heading to the heading that comes through with the flung method. So I'm going to use that get heading right there. And we're going to put that together for the pirate sprite dot flung. So this will set the direction of the pirate ship in the direction that the user flings it. We are also going to um, 
have the pirate ship bounce off the edge of the screen. So when pirate sprite dot edge reached, so if it reaches the edge of the screen, then what we will have it do is we are going to have it bounce off of the edge that it, uh, let's get rid of that error for a second. We will bounce it off the edge uh, that it reached. Okay. Um, I think that clicked in there. There we are. So hopefully that should stop with the warnings. All right. So those two codes there uh, will allow us to move the pirate ship around on the screen. And what you can do now is pause the video and go test it out. Um, make sure that your pirate ship does bounce off the edges and that you can fling it in different directions. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want the gold coins to move to random locations on the screen. So we're going to come down to our clock timer and we're going to use this when clock timer. So what happens is every time the timer goes off, so every 2000 units, um, which is approximately two seconds, um, every time that ticks, then we are going to move the gold coins to new locations. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the image sprite and I'm going to call image sprite move to, all right, and I'm going to put this over here so we can see this. That's nice, um, a little better. So we need to move it to a random location. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to come up to math and uh, we are going to look for a random integer. And hopefully I can just ignore this error now instead of, no, I need to dismiss it again. All right. All right. So um, we are going to set them to a random location on the screen. So I want to go from zero for both of them. And we're going to go from zero. The X position, remember, is the distance across the screen. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the screen, the canvas width. I'm going to come all the way down here. And I'm going to use the canvas width. I'll just drop that out here for a moment. Um, I'm also going to need the canvas height. For changing the Y value. So I will also drop this down here. Now, if I change the X value from zero all the way up to the width, what happens is the gold coin might go slightly off screen or might go entirely off screen actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use within the math blocks here, I'm going to use a couple of these blocks. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the width in this one and I'll put the height in this one. And what I want to do is I want to subtract the actual width and height of the coin itself. So I'm going to come down in the coin. Um, here's my height. I'll put that in there. And I will find the width of the coin. And I will put the width in here. And then I'm going to put these as my upper level values. And I can get rid of these hundreds as they are no longer necessary. All right. I'll meet you again in the next video to continue our